Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you how to set up your Apple Watch Ultra 3 with iPhone Air. To set up your Apple Watch Ultra 3 with iPhone Air, first you'll need to turn your Apple Watch on by pressing and holding on this button below the crown. Now let's wait for a moment. Once the Apple Watch turns on, most likely you will see a pop-up on the bottom half of your iPhone screen about setting up the Apple Watch. But if it doesn't show up, um, you can still set it up uh, by going to Watch App. Uh, I'll just I'll just show you that. So yeah, now the Apple Watch is on. Uh, let's wait for the pop-up, but uh, so so I can just show you uh, that it should be there. But I can't see it, so maybe so maybe in my case it won't show up. Um, but if you want to sh set it up and the pop-up doesn't show up, go to Watch App. Uh, if you don't have the Watch App, don't worry, you can go to Apple Store, uh, sorry, App Store, not Apple Store, then go to the search button and search for Watch. Then make sure that you have the Watch App. Now let's go to the Watch, click on Start Pairing, and you can set it up for yourself or for a family member. And on the Apple Watch, you can see this shows up. I need to scan it with my iPhone to make sure, you know, I'm connecting to the correct Apple Watch. Uh, I can restore it from a backup if you have a backup or set up as new Apple Watch. I'll set it up as new. Select on which wrist you're gonna wear your Apple Watch. I'll select the left wrist and click on Next. You can also adjust this later in settings and you can also rotate the Apple Watch orientation upside down if you want. That's also available in the settings. Um, so it's great. Now it is connecting to my Apple Watch. It shouldn't take long um, and shortly I will be able to continue with the setup. Now let's agree to terms and conditions and you can create a passcode for your Apple Watch. Now I'll explain what is a passcode on Apple Watch. Uh, so it will be asked when you take the Apple Watch off your wrist. So um, I'll present it on my current Apple Watch. You can see it works, I can, I can use it, uh, right? When I take it off my wrist, uh, let's take it off then you see that it is locked and asks me for the passcode. Um, when I put it back on, then it'll still ask me for the passcode, but when I enter it, um, then it just stays unlocked until, you ta uh, until I take it off again. <laughs> and you saw I had a six digit passcode. Uh, if you want a more digit passcode than just four digits, then select a long passcode, but I'll just create a standard one, a four digit one. I need to enter it directly on the Apple Watch uh, and then uh, re-enter it uh, to confirm. Now you can change the text and size uh, to your preference. Uh, you may want it s mm, smaller so you can fit more elements on the screen or larger so you can read it better. I'll select maybe mm, maybe this one. Uh, then let's, uh, you can also enable bold text if you'd like. Click on confirm. Uh, now here it says that uh, location services find my iPhone, Siri and analytics are shared between your iPhone and Apple Watch, which means that um, if you if on your iPhone you have location services enabled, then on your Apple Watch they also will be enabled. Uh, now you can customize your uh, fitness and health, uh, change your date of birth and all other data. You can also enable that you're on a wheelchair and that will use pushes instead of steps for activity tracking. 
Now let's click on continue. You can enable noise notification about your health um, so it can measure sound levels uh, without recording audio just to notify you if they may affect your hearing. Uh, let's click on continue. Uh, now there are safety information so you can just read that and know what your Apple Watch can do. Then click on continue and now there are two, con uh, two gestures, uh, two one-handed gestures. First is a wrist flick. As you can see in the video, you can just flick your wrist to dismiss a notification. Um, double tap, on the other hand, is used with the hand that you have your Apple Watch on and lets you um, answer a call, reply to a message, see your smart stack and more. Now let's click on continue. You can choose what your action button does. Action button is this orange button on the left side of the Apple Watch. Um, you can set it to workout, stopwatch, create a waypoint, backtrack, start the backtrack on your compass. Um, you can also uh, start diving, uh, enable a torch, Torch is just your screen, but you know, it's useful. Uh, you can also open uh, like control. Mm. It, it, uh, control like start or pause, I guess, of, of something. Voice memos, translate, accessibility, a shortcut that you can assign yourself or recognize music. I'll set it just to stopwatch and let's continue. Now um, you can enable open depth when submerged, so if you're diving then it'll show you the depth uh, automatically when you set it to open automatically. Uh, now let's uh, continue and it's signing into my Apple account. Uh, it'll take a moment and shortly I will be set. Now the Apple Watch is syncing as well, uh, so also it'll take a moment. You can also click get to know your watch to know a bit more about your watch uh, if you'd like. Uh, you'll see like what's new in the newest watchOS version, uh, some tips about Apple Watch, the user guide and stuff like that. Now I'm gonna get back to when it finishes uh, syncing because it may take a moment. And now it says welcome to your Apple Watch. You can click on done, uh, right? And you can click on start. You can take a tour of Apple Wa of the watchOS 26 if you want. So I'll take it and it'll tell me just how to navigate my Apple Watch. I can press on the digital crown to see my apps. I can press on it again to return to the watch face. I can press on the side button to open control center and I can click on it to leave the control center. Now I can also uh, slide um, the uh, digital crown app to see my widgets. I need to do it a little bit more. Okay, I need to enter my passcode as well. <laughs> and yeah, now I'm in the widgets as you can see. Uh, so my watch tour is done. Um, and that's it for my Apple Watch. Uh, also, um, like, feel free to adjust everything in your uh, Apple Watch settings uh, and feel free to uh, change your faces on the Apple Watch and um, do more. I hope that the video was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.